we already know what real numbers are. These are the numbers that can be represented on the number line. We also know that real numbers can broadly classified as rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are those that can be represented as a ratio of two integers with no common factor. Irrational numbers, on the other hand, cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers and when expressed in the decimal notation, they are non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. So guys, can you think of a number which when squared results in a negative number? Yes, a number which when multiplied with itself gives a negative one. You would have probably tried a few options. 6 times 6 is 36, a positive. Root 3 times root 3 is a 3, which is again a positive. Minus 3 times minus 3 is 9, which is positive again. And minus root 4 times minus root 4 is all positive again. Let's understand the situation now. Whenever we consider the square of a number, say x, the result was always positive. Whether the number x was a positive real number or a negative one, we always got a positive result. To get the answer, we will come back to this later. So we have studied quadratic equations in lower classes. And we know that if x squared minus 4 is equal to 0, then x is either equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 2. Now, try to find a solution to x squared plus 1 equal to 0. Pause the video and try by yourself. Do you think there is no solution to this one? Let us look at the problem closely. We have learned that a negative number did not have a square root. So if we had a number like uh, minus 4, we said that its square root did not exist. So guys, do you remember that while finding the solution of a quadratic equation using a formula, if the discriminant b square minus 4ac was negative or less than 0, we said that there are no real roots of the quadratic equation. Based on what we have studied earlier, x square plus 1 equals to 0 will not have any real roots as the value of discriminant is negative. Since the square root of negative 1 did not exist for us, we said that there are no solution for the equation x square plus 1 equals to 0. So it was in the 16th century when the mathematician named Cardan who first started thinking about the solution of a quad equation with negative discriminants. But it was a Euler in 18th century who gave the square root of negative 1 a symbol i and called it as unit imaginary number. They were, these were terms so as they never thought to be impossible and just something we imagined. So i was assumed to be a number whose square is negative 1. Now you will be able to answer the two questions. The first question was, can you think of a number which when squared results in negative number? Yes, it is my uh, iota, i. If x, if square root of negative 1 is i, then what is i times i or we can say i square? It is root negative 1 times root negative 1 that gives us negative 1. We got a negative number by squaring a number. A next question was, can you find a solution to x square plus 1 equals to 0? The answer is yes. Transposing 1 to the right hand side, we get x squared as negative 1. Taking the square root on the both side, we get the value of x as plus under root minus 1 or minus under root minus 1 and which can be written as x equals to plus minus i. So what we learnt in the school wasn't incorrect. This equation has no real roots. But yes, it has imaginary roots. That's the concept of imaginary numbers. We understood the concept of square root of negative 1. What if the number is square root of negative 5 or 
negative 6. That's what we will cover in the next video. Till then, thank you very much.